I'm Maria Leone and welcome to Pilates on the Go for Golf. Today we'll be using the Pilates mat exercises to improve your swing and better your golf score. Our program will also teach you how to strengthen your back and reduce stress on your spine. This is going to keep you healthier and playing longer. You may be thinking why Pilates for golf? While other mainstream exercise programs do build strength, they also primarily build muscle mass. This decreases range of motion, and that's not great for a golf swing. Pilates builds strength and at the same time increases flexibility. Before we go on, I'd like to introduce you to Steve Pate, six-time PGA Tour winner and 18-year veteran. Hi, I'm Steve Pate, and I'm teaming up with Maria to offer you a winning combination of Pilates and golf. I know all golfers, myself included, are looking for ways to improve their swing and increase their club head speed. Pilates will strengthen the center of your body, which is the source of power and control you need for an effective golf swing. Together with increased range of motion, you'll have the momentum and control necessary to hit the ball well on a consistent basis. I firmly believe that if you stick with this program, you will see remarkable improvement in your game. Our program begins with a pre and post round stretch, which you can use at any time. The workout is divided into four parts, which you can perform in its entirety, or if you'd like, focus on just one element of your game at a time range of motion, core strengthening, flexibility, or balance. All golfers are looking for an edge. Increasing your core strength and stability will increase your ability to hit longer and more accurate shots. I know that Pilates is the advantage you're looking for. Okay, Steve, let's begin our workout. Okay, let's go. Go ahead and take a comfortable stance, extend one hand in front of you, and apply pressure down on your hand. Make sure your shoulders stay pressing down here. Now reverse that, push the heel of your hand to me, and again apply slight pressure, and you should feel that stretch in your arm. Let's go to the second side, hand presses down, and hand reaches up. Go ahead and grab hold of your club. Bring the club behind you, and I'd like you to imagine that the club is very heavy here, and the entire time your shoulders are being pulled down to the ground. From here, let one ear drop to one side. Hold that, keeping the shoulders pressing down. And second side, letting the ear drop. Feel those shoulders sliding to the ground. Come back center, we're gonna begin rotating. The head comes forward. Take the head to the side, lift your face to the sky, and back to the start. One more circle. And let's reverse it. Remember that club is heavy in your hands. Rotate just from the neck, not from the spine. And come back center. We're gonna begin warming up your lower back. Bring your club in front of you. Stand nice and tall. Begin by nodding your chin and very slowly peel down through your spine, letting your knees bend and your torso be heavy. Take a breath in. Exhale, pull the belly in and roll slowly back up through the spine. Take a minute to stand nice and tall. Belly pulls into your spine and lift your chest high to the sky. And back center, peel down again, rolling one vertebra at a time through the spine, taking that stretch in the lower back. From here, rotate, making your club parallel to the ground. And all the way the other way. Come back center, pull the belly in, roll slowly up. Tummy nice and tight, lift the chest to the sky. Come back center, peel down one more time, softening the knees. Rotate, making the club perpendicular to the lower leg. This time, shift your weight slightly back and forth from foot to foot. And rotate the other direction. Your head is heavy. And slight weight shift back and forward. Come back to the center. Belly pulls in, roll slowly up through the spine. And this time, extend your club straight up over your head, feet together. Now, I'd like you to imagine that you're placed between two planes of glass and your body wants to slide between them. Tummy is tight. Shift your weight to one side and extend out. And pull yourself back center. Tummy is tight. Shift the weight to one side. Open the rib cage. Tummy is tight. And pull back center. Again, reaching out through the top of the head. Tummy very tight. 
and back center. You should be feeling a really nice stretch here in the sides of the body. And come back center. Bring your club in front of you, open your feet. Stand very tall with your chest lifted. Now this is sort of a bow and arrow kind of a motion. So from here, I want you to pull your right elbow in towards the center of your spine and come back center. Left hand is gonna pull in close to your spine and back center. One more time each side, keeping that elbow in the same plane as your club and back center last time. And now we're gonna add rotation. Pull the elbow in, rotate your body to the right, taking your head with you and come all the way back center. Bend the left elbow in, rotate to the left, tummy stays tight, take your head and come back center. Pull the right elbow in, tummy in, rotate to the back and come back center. Left elbow pulls in, tummy tight, rotate. Come back center and extend the club up over your head. Tummy is nice and tight and your body should be in a large X position. From here, we're gonna swivel the whole body to the back. Go ahead and rotate. Let your feet swivel. Keep your club parallel to the ground and come back center. Tummy is tight, rotate to the left. Tummy is nice and tight and come back to the center. Point your elbow straight up to the ceiling and I'd like you to choke up on your club here. Pull the club down towards the ground, taking that stretch in your tricep. And now pull the club up to the sky, taking that stretch in the front of the shoulder. Let's reverse sides. Pointing the opposite elbow up, choking up on your club. Pull the club down. And press the club up. Place your club down on the ground, wherever it's comfortable for you. Stand nice and tall and extend one leg out in front of you. Begin circling your ankle, standing very tall, and reverse that. And second side, the other leg comes out, stand tall, circle the foot, and reverse it. Let's change sides again. Extend one leg out in front of you. Keep your spine very straight, the opposite knee bent. From there, you're gonna hinge forward from the hip socket, keeping the back very flat. Pull that toe back towards your knee and you should feel a very nice stretch all along behind the back of that leg. And let's change sides. The other leg comes out. Bend the opposite knee, fold forward from the hips, keeping the back really straight. It should feel like your hips are pressing back behind you, your toe pulling back to your knee. Just hold that. And back to standing. Go ahead, grab hold of your ankle, point your knee down to the ground and keep your stomach engaged. Now you should be feeling a nice stretch in the front of the thigh. And let's change sides. Bringing the heel up, tummy is tight, and if this is too much pressure on your knee, go ahead and let the knee open slightly. That's the end of our stretch. Your body should be warm and ready to start hitting. The first series of exercises Maria will lead us through focus on range of motion. For me, it's all about increasing club head speed, which in turn will result in greater distance. We're going to begin by warming up your hips. Come on to your mat. Bring the knees into the chest, grab hold of your knees. Now from here, begin circling the legs, really allowing your hands to hold on to the knees, keeping the pelvis nice and still, warming up those hip sockets. Tummy is tight. And lower those legs down. From here, inhale, reach the arms up over your head, keeping your tummy tight making sure the rib cage doesn't come up off the ground, and hands by the side. Again, inhale, lengthen out and up, tummy tight, and hands by the side. One more time, reaching the hands up. Make sure the shoulder blades haven't slid up by your ears, and hands by your side. From here, pull your tummy in, 
Flatten out your lower back, point your tailbone directly up to the sky. From here, articulate your spine, roll all the way up till you get a straight line from the knees to the shoulders. And now peel your body. Really try to envision that spine, moving one segment at a time. Take a breath in. Exhale, peel all the way up. Take a breath in. Exhale, roll all the way down. Take a breath in. Again, begin by tucking the tailbone under. Peel the spine all the way up. Take a breath in. And exhale, peel slowly down through the spine. Extend the legs out with the knees slightly bent. Reach your hands out toward your feet. Now we're going to begin articulating all the way from the head. Take a breath in. As you exhale, peel the entire body up off the mat, pulling from the center of the body. Reach out and forward over the legs. Take a breath in. Exhale, peel all the way down, articulating that spine. Inhale, bring the hands to the feet. Exhale, peel your body up. Tummy is in. Reach forward, take a breath in. Exhale, peel all the way down. One more like that. Inhale, hands to your feet. Exhale, peel the body up. Reach forward, roll all the way down. For a little more challenge, go ahead and stretch those legs straight. Inhale, bring the hands towards the feet. Exhale, peel the body up. That's a little bit more difficult. Reach out. Roll slowly down through your spine. Reach the hands back behind you. Last time. Inhale, hands towards the feet. Exhale, peel all the way up. Reach forward. Stay here. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Roll all the way back down through your spine. Hands are by your side. Bend your knees. From here, I'd like you to extend one leg straight up to the sky, feeling a nice straight line from the ankle to the hip. From here, draw a circle, crossing the leg over across your body and back center. And over and around and up. Really feeling that circle happening from the hip socket. Torso is still. Last time like that. And let's reverse it. Open and around and up. Two and around and up. Make sure the body is still. The circle could also be small if you need it to be. Last time. Pull the knee into your chest, taking a little stretch. And other side, extend out. Really feel energy all the way up through that leg. Cross the leg over and up. And two and up, the rest of the body is totally still. No tension in the neck and shoulders. Last one. And let's reverse it. Again, that circle's happening from the hip socket, not the ankle. Last time. Pull the knee into your chest. Stretch the legs out straight. And let's transition here with a roll up. Sit nice and tall. Open the legs. And you may need to keep the knees here slightly bent if you feel too much pull behind the leg. Before you go, make sure you have a very straight line from the top of the head all the way down to the sit bones. From here, we're going to peel forward. Let the chin nod and slowly sequence down through the spine, melting as you reach those hands out in front of you. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, roll slowly up through the spine. Take a breath in, exhale, peel down through the spine. And roll all the way up. Sit nice and tall last time. Peel down, moving one segment at a time. And peel all the way up. Sit nice and tall. Now we're going to add some rotation to that. Extend the arms out from the shoulders. From here, rotate towards me and bend forward, sawing off your little toe. Keep energy through the arms. Keep the hips planted to the ground. Come all the way up. Rotate to the other direction. Sit nice and tall. Exhale, reach forward. Shoulders are down. Hips are planted. All the way up. And rotate to me again. Go ahead and let your head rotate as well. Reach forward, all the way up. And lift the spine, shoulders down, bend forward. All the way up, back center. We're gonna come onto your stomach now. And even though you're laying on your stomach, it's really important you still keep the stomach engaged, up supporting the lower spine. I like you envision you have a marble placed in front of your nose. Imagine it rolling away as you lift the head and shoulders up off the mat. Tummy lifts, shoulders stay down, and lower it down. 
And again, inhale, lift out and up. Really focus on opening that chest. And lower it down. Tummy is tight. Inhale, lengthen out and up. Opening the chest. And lower it down. Push your body all the way back into rest position now. Really stretching that lower back. Now we're gonna begin undulating the spine. I'd like you to begin by skimming your chin across the mat, then your chest, then your belly. Lift up into that swan position. Tummy is nice and tight. Now like you got hit in the stomach, round the back. And again, skimming the chin, the chest, the belly, and lift out and up. Really stretch the body, round the back, pull the tailbone under. Again, skim the chin, the chest, the belly, lift out and up, tummy nice and tight, and round the back. Come to a seated position. We're gonna work on the inner thigh as well as a little bit of balance. So, you're gonna bring your weight just back off your tailbone, cross your legs and make a diamond shape with the legs. Now moving the legs from the hip sockets, hands by your side. Change your legs. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, grab hold of your feet, bend all the way forward. Come back. Lift back, change the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up and over the top. Come back to your start. You can repeat that as it was, or challenge yourself by adding a little bit of rolling. From here, roll your body back. Come back to your balance. Change the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Up and over. All the way back, lift the legs, roll back, and up. Change the legs, five, four, three, two, one, and all the way forward. And come onto your side for me. Place your body in an L shape. Two hands together. If you have a pillow handy, it may be more comfortable for you to place it under your head here. Allow your head to relax. Inhale, reach the hand up over the head, and as you exhale, spiral the body away, really enjoying that stretch. Back to the start. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, really feeling that oppositional pull from hand to knee. Last time like that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tummy as tight as you lengthen it away. And let's come to your second side. Body's in an L shape. We're gonna begin circling the top hand. Make sure this hand stays on the ground. That elbow can bend if it needs to. And one more like that. Inhale, reaching out. And exhale all the way across. Come on up. This time we're gonna rotate the body from the lower half. Back on your stomach. Place your hands in front of you. From here, I'd like you to lift one leg up, bend that knee, and now rotate your lower half away from you. Keep the tummy tight, shoulders square to the mat, and back to your start. The other leg is gonna lift, bend the knee. Now swivel your hips, tummy is tight. Keep the shoulders pointed towards the ground. And all the way back. Really important you keep your stomach engaged here. Lift the leg up, bend the knee, rotate it away. That should feel really nice on your spine. Back to your start, the other leg lifts, bend the knee, and rotate away. And all the way back. From here, round your back again, pull the tailbone under. Stay here, take a nice deep breath in, and exhale. The next series of exercises will target the core muscles. The core is the communication link between the upper and lower halves of the body. This communication has to be flowing in order to coordinate all moving parts. Now let's begin strengthening the center of our body, the power source for your golf swing. Come on to your back. And I'd like you to begin by placing the heels of your hands on your hip bones, fingers on your pubic bone. 
Now make sure that your fingertips aren't pointed up to the ceiling or down to the ground, but directly in front of you. Hands by your side, tummy is tight. The legs are gonna come up to tabletop position, which means that your knees are in line with your hips, lower leg parallel to the ground. From here, keeping your tummy very tight, lower one leg down to the ground, and exhale, lift it back up. Inhale, lower it down, and exhale back up. Again, making sure that the lower back does not fluctuate at all. The center of the body is supporting the shape. And pull the knees into the chest. And second side, tummy is tight. Lower one leg down, and exhale up. Lower down, and exhale up. You should feel that right here in the middle of your body. And last time, lower it down, and exhale up. Pull the knees into your chest. Lower the feet down to the ground. And now if you'd like a little bit more challenge, you can add the head and the shoulders to it. Scoop your tummy into your spine. Feel the rib cage knitting together as you curl the head and shoulders up. Tummy very tight. Legs back to tabletop. And same thing, lower one leg down and exhale up. Really envisioning here that your legs are floating, almost as if you're in water and you don't want to make a big splash. One more, inhale and exhale. Pull the knees in, lower it down. And right back up for the second side. Tummy nice and tight, shoulders are down. Lower one leg down and exhale up. Back down two, spine nice and still. Take it down three and up. Last one like that, four and up. Pull the knees in and lower it down. We're gonna move into a modified hundred. Reach your hands out towards the edge of your mat. Again, feeling that lift happening right from the center of the body. Scoop the tummy in, lift the head and shoulders up. Shoulders are lengthening down. Now begin breathing and pumping the arms. Breathe in for two, out for two. Shh, 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 shh. The entire time, I want you to feel that support coming from the center of the body. If you'd like, you can move on to a more challenging exercise. Bring the legs up to tabletop. Curl the head and shoulders back up off the mat. Continue your breathing. In for two, in out for two. And now as you get stronger, you can challenge yourself by extending those legs out even further. Tummy is tight. If your neck gets tired, go ahead and lower your head and shoulders back down to the ground. Pull the knees in and lower it down. Place your two hands onto one knee. Again, curl the head and the shoulders. Back up off the ground, really feeling that scoop. Extend the other leg out and feel a nice long line from ankle to hip. Shoulders are down and relax. Now change legs. Inhale and reach. Exhale and reach. Inhale. And exhale, put your emphasis here on the center of your body. Make sure you're nice and still. Be aware of that sensation in the center. Reach and reach, two knees come in and lower it down. Two feet down onto the mat, reach your hands over your knees. Again, curl the head and shoulders up, really feeling that sensation of the lift happening from the center of the body. From here, without letting the head and shoulders change at all, reach the hands back behind you on the diagonal. Exhale, circle back to the knees. Inhale, tummy stays tight. Exhale, circle it around. Again, inhale, lengthen it back. Exhale, circle it around and lower it down. Now you can repeat that just as it was or challenge yourself by adding the legs. The legs are gonna start tabletop this time. Hands on the two knees. Curl the head and shoulders up. Make sure you're very scooped from here. Inhale, lengthen the whole shape out. Exhale, pull in. Make sure that lower spine is staying totally still and the center of the body does not fluctuate at all. 
and in. Use your breath, nice deep breath in. Recoil in from the center of the body, and everything lowers down. Bring your hands behind your head. Pull your tummy in, lift the head and shoulders up. We're gonna begin working the obliques now, an integral muscle group for your golf swing. Legs are up at tabletop. Rotate the head and shoulders towards me. And away. Reach across, keep the head and shoulders up. And rotate away. Really feel that rotation happening from the center of the body. Reach. And reach and lower it down. Now you can repeat that as it was or add legs for more of a challenge. Head and shoulders lift back up. From here, pull one knee into your elbow. And rotate and shake. And reach, trunk very still. And reach. Rotation happens from the center. And reach two more. Keep the head and shoulders up. Pull the knees in and lower it down. Legs straight in front of you. Peel your body all the way up. And take a moment to sit tall. We're gonna move into spine twist. Make sure here that your heels stay in the same spot and don't fluctuate throughout this movement. Reach the hands up. Feel the spine nice and long. And now initiating from the center of the body, rotate your body two times to me. One, two, and come back center. Other direction, one, two, and lift. Tummy tight, one, two, again. Really allow the arms here to follow the movement of your center. Last time, and lower your hands down. Come onto your hands and knees for me. Place your hands right under your shoulders and knees right underneath your hips. From here, keeping your spine in a neutral position, extend one arm overhead and one leg straight back behind you. Now your body should be in a totally straight line, parallel to the ground. And other side, please. Extend one arm out, one leg out. Make sure your kneecap is pointed straight down to the ground. Shoulders are down all the way down. One more time, tummy stays tight. We're still working the center of the body here, the front and the back of the torso. And second side, really feel energy out through the finger, out through the toe. Now we're gonna add some movement to that to further challenge the center of the body. Come back to that same start position. Now from here, keeping your body totally still. Allow the arm and leg to go down and up, and reach. Two, three, four. The harder you pump, the more challenge. Two more. And let's go to your second side. Extend out, make sure your head is in a nice position, and lower down and up. Two, tummy tight, spine still. Lower back doesn't move. Use your breath, and back into rest position. Go ahead and round your lower back. Come back onto your hands and knees. We're gonna move into a plank position, which is really gonna help you with your golf grip by strengthening your forearm. Hands are right underneath your shoulders. Place one leg back behind you. The other leg is gonna come back to join it. You're gonna find a straight line from the top of the head out through the heels. Now if you need to, you can lower the knees down and do this from a half position. Stay here, keep holding it, keep the tummy tight, and back to your knees. Let's try that one more time again. Take one leg back, tummy is tight. Take the other leg back to join it. Come into that nice straight line. Make sure the hips aren't saggy. Make sure the back isn't rounding. Hold it, hold it, hold it and bend the knees. Come on to your side for me. And I'd like you to place your feet, your hip in your hand in a nice straight line. This hand is here. Now from here, lift your entire body up. Placing your body as if there's a plane of glass in front of you and behind you. Hold that. Really using this whole bottom side here to help you. And lower it down one more time. Take a breath in. Reach out and up. Shoulders are down. 
and lower it down. Let's go to your second side. Again, lining up the feet, the hip, and the hand. Tummy is tight, take a breath in, lift the body up, really push the ground away here. Make sure your body weight isn't sagging into the ground. And lower it down. Again, deep breath in and lift. And lower it down. Now you can repeat either of those two exercises. When you're ready, you can move on by combining them. Come back to your plank position, hands underneath the shoulders, step the two feet back. Establish that good plank position. Now from here, you're gonna swivel your body, swivel your feet, lift to the side position, hold it. Come back to plank, tummy stays tight, other direction now, swivel and hold it. Make sure the shoulders are down. Back to plank, one more time, swivel. Push the ground away, stay nice and long. Back to plank, last time, swivel, hold it. Back to plank, bend your knees, pull your body back into a rest position. Stay here, take a nice deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, completely allow the torso to relax and sink down to the ground. Now we're going to work on flexibility. A limber body enhances perfect golf posture. For example, the more flexible your hamstrings are, the easier it is to maintain a constant spine angle while rotating at a high rate of speed. Remember to really focus on your breathing for this segment. Your body will not relax unless your mind does. So nice, full inhales and exhales. Come on to your hands and knees. Hands are going to go right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. From here, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull your tailbone under, creating a nice C-shape from the top of the head to the tailbone. Now on an inhale, allow the chest to open, lifting the tail to the sky. And exhale, round the back, really pulling that tail to the ground. Shoulders are down. Inhale, open the chest. Tummy stays tight. Exhale, round the back once more, taking that stretch in the lower back. And inhale, opening the chest. Bring your body back to a neutral position. From here, I'd like you to lift one hand, rotating the torso and the head. Push the ground away. And back to all fours. Tummy in, push the ground away, open the chest. Feel that nice stretch throughout the spine. And back to all fours. Inhale, lift, push the ground away. And lower it down. And last time, inhale, lift. And lower it down. Come on to your back. I'd like you to place your hands just a little bit lower than your shoulders. Feel energy out through the fingertips here. Now here, allow one shoulder to rotate up one shoulder rotates back and change sides. Feeling that stretch in the front of the shoulder. One more time. Keeping that shoulder mobile will really help prevent injury. And change. And release. From here, cross one leg over the top and allow the legs to lower to one side, keeping the tummy engaged, really enjoying that oppositional stretch. Feel that oppositional pull from knee to shoulder. Now pull the tummy in, unwind yourself back to the center, and allow the legs to lower the other direction. Again, feeling that oppositional pull in the body. Tummy still engaged, and nice deep breathing. Really let those legs be heavy. Unwind by pulling your navel in and coming back to the center position. Let's change sides, cross the other leg on top. Allow the legs to lower to one side. Tummy stays tight, feeling that oppositional pull. A deep breath in and an exhale. Let the legs drop a little further. Pull your body all the way back to the center and allow the legs to rotate the other direction, feeling that nice diagonal stretch from the knee to the shoulder. If you'd 
like, try using the top leg to press gently down on the bottom leg for a little bit more stretch. Tummy is nice and tight. Pull yourself all the way back to the center. From here, bring your legs into a figure four. Cross one leg on top of the other and bring the bottom leg up. Grab hold of your thigh and pull the shape into you. Now it's okay if the tailbone does curl up slightly, but I want you to minimize it. Allow the shoulders to be relaxed and just take that stretch in the hip. Nice deep inhales and exhales and second side. Cross the other leg over, bring the bottom leg up, pull it into you, stay here. Shoulders are relaxed, deep breath in and exhale. Two legs down. Now pull one knee into your chest, stay here, allow your tailbone to pull under and gently slide the other leg out along the mat. Nice deep breaths. Let's change sides. Pull that knee in. Tailbone under. It's okay if this leg isn't all the way straight. You should feel that stretch in the front of the hip. Keeping the hip stretch is really going to help you with that follow through position. And release it. Extend one leg up to the ceiling. If you have to, you can keep your knee slightly bent. Pull that leg gently into you. Now it's important you feel a stretch here, but not a strain. Continue breathing. It's really important to stretch the back of the leg. This is often the culprit for lower back pain. Go ahead and push the heel through. Keep breathing. Let's change sides, extend the other leg up. Grab behind that leg, gently pull it into you, feeling a stretch, but not a strain. Push the heel away. And come on up. Go ahead and open your legs quite wide. It's okay if your knees are bent. From here, allow your torso just to relax forward. Come to the hands, if you can, onto the elbows, and nice deep breaths. Keep your knees pointed straight up to the ceiling here. Allow that torso to be nice and heavy and take that stretch into the inner thigh. One more breath. And let's change positions. Come on to your stomach for me, please. From here, reach behind you and grab hold of your ankle. Now pull your heel in towards your behind and you should feel that stretch in the front of your thigh. If it's too much on your knee here, you can let the knee be slightly open. Again, make sure you're breathing. And change sides. Grab hold of the ankle. Allow that stretch to happen in the front of the thigh. See if you can keep your two hips and your pubic bone down on the ground. Come back to your first side. Bring that heel into the behind. And now this time I'd like you to press the leg behind you. Use the front hand, pull the tummy in, open the chest, and really take that stretch in the front of that shoulder. Stay here. And change sides. The other heel comes in, tummy is tight. Push the leg behind you, use this front hand. Open the chest. Now come back into rest position, rounding the back. Stay here and a nice deep inhale and exhale. Our last series will focus on balance. This is a dynamic way to target the core muscles and achieve a focused mind-body connection. Remember, every lie is not flat. As in life, we'll be challenged with uneven terrain. With practice, you'll be able to handle all of these situations like a master. Take a moment to feel your body nice and tall with your chest lifted. From here, bend both knees. 
hold steady. Turn your head one direction, the other direction. Come back center and stretch your legs straight. From here, lift one leg up off the ground. Make sure your two hips are pointed straight forward and you're not sinking into this hip. Being nice and tall, turn the head one direction, turn it the other direction, and come back to standing. Let's go the other side. Stand nice and tall. Turn the head, turn the head, and come back center. You'll probably notice that your balance is a little better on one side than the other. Reach your fingertips down to the ground, shoulders are sliding down on your back, and I'd like you to begin pumping your arms, breathing in for two counts, then out for two counts. In for two, and out for two. The harder you pump the arms, the more your center will have to work to stabilize the body. Last time, in and out, and relax. Now you can repeat that as it was, or challenge yourself by lifting one foot up off the ground, reach your fingers down to the ground, and breathe in for two and out for two. In and out. Now this is a little bit more difficult than it looks, so it's okay if you're a little bit wobbly the first time. And let's go to the second side. Stand very tall with the chest lifted. Extend one leg off and breathe in for two and out for two. Focus on your center. Keep your body perfectly still and out and in and out and back to standing. From here, step back into a lunge position. The front leg is bent. Two hips, again, are pointing directly forward. Now, maintaining the height of the body, pull the back leg up, find your balance, hold it, and step back. Pull the back leg up and hold it. Chest is lifted, body's in perfect posture. And step it back. Pull back up, three, hold it. And step back last time. You might feel the work here in that bottom leg. And stand nice and tall, second side. Step back, take a moment to stabilize. Now pull that back leg up. And step back. And pull up two. And back, keep your breath even. Pull in three. And step back. And last time, four. Stabilize your body and come to standing. We're gonna do that same motion side to side. Bend both knees, take a step to the side, hold it, and second side. Step to the side, and step to the side. Now if you'd like, try taking a little bit bigger step. That's gonna challenge the balance a little bit more. And come back to standing. Take a nice deep breath in, and exhale. From here, feel the top of your head extending to the sky and slowly push the ground away, coming up onto the balls of the feet, keeping the body nice and steady, feeling the crown of the head lengthening to the sky. Slowly lower your heels down, maintaining that sense of length in your spine. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. Thank you for joining us. We recommend you perform Pilates on the go two to three times a week for optimum fitness. This program has made my back feel better and it's enabled me to swing the way I want to. Stick with it and you'll be seeing improvements in your game quickly. Hang on.